Hey guys, it's Echo Feather on behalf of the Endangered Awareness Campaign, which is being run by Heatherstar201 and Nightcloud Supporter, and me. And uh, I wanted to give a special little talk about the disappearing rate of the rainforest. Now, everyone knows that there is like 75% water on the planet. The other 25% is land. Now, a long time ago, there used to be 14% of that land occupied by rainforest. And, you know, that's like half. Or that's more than half of the land that was covered by rainforest. Now there's a mere 6%, and I guess the other percent's like big cities and stuff like that. If you guys don't understand my statistics, then basically we have lost over half our rainforests, like, you know, just really fast. Okay? And it will keep decreasing. Experts say that in the next 40 years, unless we um, try to stop this, there will be no more rainforest left. That means no more clouded leopards, no more lowland gorillas, no more, you know, these are all kinds of rainforests, not just tropical ones. I mean, like, all kinds of rainforests. Okay, now, now that you thought I was done with the numbers, I'm going to throw some more at you, you know? Did you know that experts estimate that we are losing 137 plants and animals each day, you know, because of deforestation? Now that all adds up to 50,000 species a year. That is a lot. I mean, you know, you try counting that high and that's a lot of animals. And half those animals are like becoming extinct and we don't even know about them. I mean, you know, there could be some miraculous uh, cure for cancer or some, you know, beautiful sight that we haven't ever got gotten to see and we never will if the rainforests keep disappearing. Okay, we are seriously, every single day, we are literally losing probably hundreds of species that we never even knew about. Literally, I am serious. You know? Now I'm going to talk a little bit about this um, nifty place called the Amazon. It's, well, it's truly the biggest rainforest on the planet. Did you know that if it were a country, it would be the ninth largest in the world? I mean, that is how big it is. It is huge. Okay? Okay, y'all know what a basin is, right? A basin is like sort of a flat, low-lying area where water kind of ga gathers. And one-fifth of the world's fresh water exists in that basin. And also, 10 million species of the plants and animals and insects live in the tropical rainforest there. And that's a lot of animals, and we're all losing them, you know, because of all this deforestation. Now, I've given a little bit of a biased opinion here. I mean, you know... These people are people. They need jobs. They need money. They need to support themselves. I mean, of course. Uh, you know, we can't just get on. We can't compromise, you know, human welfare for this sort of stuff. I mean, that's really what the experts are saying. Not what I'm saying. But, you know, here's... I have no idea. You see, I am not a box full of answers. We really don't know. Time will tell. I'm just saying that people aren't... You know, I'm trying to give up. I'm just trying to enlighten here. I'm not trying to choose sides. I'm just saying that people, you know, they need the money. They need the welfare. They need to have these jobs or else they're really, they're going to be in bad shape, okay? And that's not a good thing. The world is going to be more poverty, and that's a bad thing as well as losing endangered animals. So to wrap it up, the rainforest contains numerous species that we may not even be able to s discover. The Amazon, you know, is one of the largest rainforests and is also, you know, being cut down because of all the trees and resources. And there are people who, you know, rely on this kind of stuff. So, you know, keep that in mind. Everything I've, you know, told you this has been kind of long. So I just wanted to help enlighten you guys. Uh, thanks for listening to this.